Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John, and this is Timberborn, and as you can see, Update 4 has arrived. Bit concerning because we completely missed Update 3 on this channel. Uh, we went from Update 2, had a bit of a break, and now Update 4 is here. So, let's start a new game. I know they've introduced a whole bunch of stuff, uh, a lot of stuff for the Iron Teeth. They've changed uh, a lot of the way the food works. And they've added a bunch of new buildings, things like that. But we're going to go with... Hmm. Hmm. No, I'm going to go with the uh, the folk tales. I think. Uh, where are we going to go? There is a new map. Which one is it? I think it's this one, Craters. Uh, I think that's the new one. Um, we'll go on normal for the moment. See what happens. Okay, what are we going to call our settlement? Let's call our settlement, um, Beaver Town. Why not? Okay, let's pause it for a second and see what we've got. Okay, so we have water coming in here. This is our water source. Um, looks like there's a couple of routes we can... Divert. If we dam it here, it's going to spill over into here and down here, which is going to keep all of this fertile. Okay, we've got a bit there that feeds all the way through... Ooh, wow. All the way through a massive canyon there. Um, this goes down into here and out the map that side. Okay, so we've got a lot of... Oh, we've got more water over here. Uh, we've got a source here. And it drains out there. Okay. Uh, in terms of metal, the nearest we have is right over the other edge of this crater. Hmm, interesting. I mean... Obviously. Obviously. My first thought is, we're going to need to block all of this here, and just flood this whole crater. But, in terms of land, I think irrigating this section would be a good idea. Hmm... Yeah, using these sort of channels around the edge, we could figure out a good way to channel it so that we get the sort of maximum fertility. I mean, this would be good here. That would just keep filling up to what level? No, it's just going to drop out there, isn't it? Hmm. I mean, it would fill that. We'll see. Anyway, we'll 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 get to that. Let's let's get started, shall we? Um, okay. So first of all, we are going to want. Um, we're going to put a path out that way, and we'll put a path out this way. We will put a gatherer's flag out there, and we will put a lumberjack flag right there. Uh, we will mark. Basically, all of these trees here to cut down. Um, water. Actually, honestly, just... Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Straight out there is probably best for water, isn't it? There we go. Right. Start building. Uh, for the moment, we'll put a couple more into the uh, district centre to speed that along. What else are we going to need? We're going to need storage of all sorts. We're going to need a log pile, which we can put there. We are going to want a warehouse, which we will put there. Because we can build on top of that, so we can put um, a ramp up to there. And we're going to need water storage. Um, which is in storage now. And we can put that... Right there. Okay. 
that's the very basic beginnings. We're going to need, obviously, to expand hugely, but we'll take this uh, opportunity to take a quick look at the uh, new stuff. Well, the, the new stuff that I haven't seen, at least. Um, so the, the storage has been split down. We've now got fluid storage, um, good storage, and bulky resource storage. So this is your planks, your logs, things like that. We'll have a look here. So, yeah, dirt, metal beams, planks, uh, scrap metal, treated planks, and logs can all go in there. We'll set that to logs immediately. Uh, over here, we can store a lot of things. Books, golem parts, dandelions, explosives, paper gears, um, pine resin, uh, ingredients like flour and, and uh, chestnuts and potatoes, and then all the food stuff. Uh, we'll start by storing berries in there. Um, and honestly, we probably, at least for the moment, get away with a second um, lumberjack there. Okay. That should be okay. Um, we'll free up people as and when we need to. Uh, in fact, we shouldn't need to. We're not building anything that requires people or beavers, uh, apart from these two. So that will be fine. We'll let them get on and build that. Okay, so that's all built. Um, we're going to start to build up a supply of water, hopefully. Right, next order of business is probably going to be... Hmm, an additional source of food, or do we want housing first? Probably an additional source of food first. So, this is another change that's uh, been put in. We have uh, an efficient farmhouse. Uh, takes three workers. Um, and presumably produces more food. So, we will put in... Uh, yeah, a bunch of carrots there. Uh, and we will put in some potatoes there, even though we do need the uh, grill to make use of them. Uh, and then we're going to have to start thinking about housing. Um, honestly, back here is probably a good place. So, let's... Run a path right up the middle. Um, where are we? Housing. And we will... One two three four um that'll be exactly enough for for the number of beavers we currently have so we'll need more than that if we want our population to grow and we do want our population to grow so i will start um with one more Lodge. There we go. Okay. More trees over here. More space over there. That's okay. And again, if we can irrigate this, that would be useful. Yeah. Okay. How are we doing here? We need three more logs. That's fine. That should be done fairly soon. Uh, we only have one unimportant unemployed uh, beaver at the moment so we will take two out of the district center so when that is built that should be fully fully staffed there we go okay so now we need to get them to head on and build the housing we are also going to need at least one inventor probably more than that but we'll stick one in for the moment just there. Okay, and I will spin on again until all of this is built. Everything's built. We've got our housing in. We've got our uh, inventor in there. I've put in a new um, warehouse there to store. Oh, I didn't notice that before. Look at that. It actually shows you what it's storing on the little plaque on the front. And you can tell what it is by looking inside. That's a really nice touch. I like that. Same with the uh, the log storage over here. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Well done, devs. Nice touch. Right. Uh, how are we doing for everything? Well, water, we have some. Housing, we have sufficient for the moment. 
we are definitely going to want more soon. Um, let's think. We are going to want a lumber mill. Now, where should we put a lumber mill? I mean, the re only place we can put it really is, is a along this way. So, um, we'll bring the path down here. Um, I do want to put in... There we go. Another lumberjack. And we will mark these trees uh, to be cut down as well. Oops. Missed the whole line of them there. Never mind. Yeah. We'll get rid of all of those and we'll put in the... Um, we're going to need a power wheel and uh, a lumber yard. That should be all right. We should have plenty of logs coming in for that already. Um, what's the power wheel? That's quite... That's 40 logs. Yeah, that's a bit more... A bit more resource intensive, but never mind. Um, our farmhouse is in and, and will be growing. Um, that's quite a small field for it, really, but we'll we'll leave it for that uh, at that for the moment. Ah, oh, we do need more housing. Hmm. Yeah, we are going to need more housing. Okay. Um. Okay. Right. What I'll do is I will cancel out all of that. Uh, and tell them to cut those out first so we can extend the path. And then we'll start building down here. We'll probably put in different housing, uh, more housing down here as well. So I'll spin on until um, we've cleared this little area. Well, we've got our lumber mill and our uh, power wheel in. Uh, it says we don't have any available workers, but we do have one in the district centre that we can bring out. Uh, we have one child. Um, unfortunately, that child was only born like three days ago, so it's going to take them a while to, to grow up. But that's fine. We still have two available um, spaces. Right. We have 42 science points. We are going to need 60 to unlock the Forester. And I think that's probably what we're going to want to do first. Uh, we are almost out of trees that we can grab here but we do have a fair supply of logs um yeah all we can really do is spin on and wait although yeah i, I was gonna think of, I, I was thinking about building another water pump but at the moment we're all right so what i'm gonna do instead oops is I am going to risk... Hmm. I should probably put it there. So I will. Um, I will... Move that path. And spread it across there. Like so. Okay. So that should give us some... Um, sustainable water whilst the, the drought happens. Uh, I was looking at this, I mean, breaking this up would mean that we lose a lot of water through there. If we were to put a dam in there instead, it would let some of the water out and it would spread uh, uh, fertilization, hydration down this way. Um, so it will come down into here and then trickle off the map that way. If we only replace one of these with a dam, that will restrict the amount of water going down there. But I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to wait until uh, this is built. Wait until we've got some um, uh, available beavers to start filling up. Uh, I want to put in some more housing as well, definitely. Um... I just don't know where. Probably down here, honestly, is the best place. Um, yeah, maybe at the back here. Let's do that. Let's... No, oh, no, that's what I want. Let's bring the path up here and we can put in a couple more... 
of these little lodges just at the end here. Uh, and we can extend this down this way as the as the trees here get cleared. Okay, I will spin on again. Um, yeah, I'm going to need the forester because we're going to need more wood coming in. Yeah, so I'll spin on until we can um, get the forester. I have unlocked the forester and placed one over here. We are waiting, obviously, for, for the resources. Um, we're pretty much out of trees. I, I have set up the uh, lumber mill. I've taken someone out of the uh, farm over here. Um, we have a well-being of five, which is nice. Um, this is going to be a slow drag, I think. Because um, we're using quite a lot of logs to put in the, the dam over here. Uh, these are regrowing, so we are getting some back. Um, these are regrowing, or the ones that are on the greenery here are regrowing. Um, so we are getting some, but some of, the go uh, some of them are going to be turned into planks, uh, which are obviously needed over here. Yeah, so all I can do now is spin on either until the start of the drought, which hopefully won't be for a, a good few days yet. Um, the first drought's probably going to be three, four days long, maybe. So I'm hoping we're not going to get that for, for a while. Hopefully the Forester will be built by then, but I'm not holding my breath. Um, yeah, that's going to eat up all of our logs. Between that and the uh, lumber mill, that's going to eat up all of our logs. So, I will spin on. Whilst having a quick look around, I did notice that we have some steps down onto this level. So, we can uh, get down onto this and get these trees out of here. So, let me set these up to cut. All of those. Uh, oh, and those as well. So, that should give us a few more. Um, we should be able to reach all of those. Oh, almost all of those. Okay. Uh, I might end up moving one of these lumberjacks then. But that will give us a boost to our... Uh, production because that will bring in a, a, a few more logs which will be nice which means we'll be able to get this finished at some point and then hopefully we'll be able to move on to the uh, um, the forester so I'll spin on until it's done okay we have our forester in now let's have a look trees and bushes we've got our birch our pine our chestnut and our maple we also have oak uh, it takes 30 days to grow and produces eight logs. So it's, by all means, it, the, the best of the best of trees, clearly. Um, we will start, though, with I think a, a fairly substantial stand of pine there, because that will give us some sort of fairly quick growing uh, wood that we can get in. And then we'll go for chestnut trees in there. Yeah, that's probably fine. Um, I'm tempted to put in some birch again, just for the, the sort of very quick growing, but it's not really worth it. The pine's better. Um, and then I will put in a stand of oak there. Um, and we'll put oak in there once they've got rid of this tree. Um, we're going to want more than that, aren't we? Yes, John. Yes, John, you're going to want more than that. Okay. Uh, in which case, we will fill that in with chestnut as well. That's probably okay. We can probably get by with that. Yeah. Okay, that's that done. Okay, we've got some houses over here. Obviously, we've got no beavers moved in yet, so we've got seven free spaces um only one child um no unemployed um how much have we got in that uh, only 65 science points what we're looking for next i think is going to be the stairs and the platforms so we're looking for 170 science points that's going to take a while um in the meantime i can put in a grill 
I'll put in a grill down here. Uh, again, nobody to work in it at the moment, but that's fine. They can put it together, and then as soon as there's a worker available, they'll they'll go in and start grilling some potatoes. Uh, I do need some storage for potatoes, and ideally some storage for grilled potatoes as well, but that's going to have to wait until we've got the ramp, uh, the stairs and the platform. So I'll spit on again. Well, day 15, we've just got the drought warning. So we've got three days until that hits, so it is going to be a, a, a short one. That'll be fine. Um, Food-wise, we're not doing great. Um, we are bringing carrots in, but slowly. Um, the grill has just gone in, but we don't have any workers for it. Um, grilled potatoes, please. Uh, we have four children now. Uh, five free spaces still. Um, not sure when the first child is going to grow up. I don't know where we can uh, check that. Where are we? Children. 4% grown, 38% grown. Yeah, okay. Going to take a while. But never mind. Um, trees are being planted, as you can see. Uh, we've not quite finished cutting these down because we can't quite reach those. So, I am going to pause that flag. And pop one in there, just to get rid of that. Yeah, and apart from that, we are now waiting for these trees to grow, which is going to be you know, about 10 more days. So, until that happens, we are pretty much out of wood, unless I come down here and start clearing out this dead... Ooh! We have some dead oak down there. Hmm. That might be useful. You've got nothing to do in range, have you? Uh, you're waiting for the trees to grow. Okay, yeah, this is going to be the waiting game then. We've got to wait for everything to uh, to start growing. Uh, oh yeah, I did put in another, or I'm in the process of putting in another um, water pump and water storage. Uh, let's set that to water. Okay, I'll spin on till the start of the drought then, I guess. And there's the drought. It's going to be two days. I think we can probably survive two days. Uh, our beavers are happier than ever, though. We've we've reached a, a high score, happiness high score of seven. Yeah. That's nice. We've had some more children born. We've only got three spaces now and six children in the colony. I've turned off... Um, I could probably turn that one back on, actually, now, can't I? Never mind. Uh, but I've turned off the um, lumberjack flags all around here. Uh, this one is still on because we've got some trees grown here. I've turned off the lumber mill. Uh, basically, so we've got some logs to actually cook the potatoes that we're harvesting. So, uh, our second water pump is in. Our second water tank is in. So, that should keep us going over the two days. Um, but will certainly help us in the future as well. Uh, so, this is going to be, again, spinning on for... Well, the two days of the drought, I suspect. Um, I can't imagine anything's going to happen before then. So, let me, in fact, let's select you. We'll pause you and unpause you. So you can come and get at least this one tree. Yeah, and I'll spin on till the end of the drought and we'll see where we are then. Well, there's the end of the drought and obviously we, we yeah... Two days was nothing. So, what have I done? Well, not not a lot, really. There hasn't been a great deal I can do. Uh, I've put another worker into the uh, farmhouse there. Um, we do have some crops to uh, to harvest once they get to it. Uh, we have plenty of storage space for it, so that's fine. Um, I have included these dead trees here in um, the cutting order for this. So at least we'll get a few sticks in. Um, that's doing a sterling job of getting through all the potatoes. Uh, so we have 120 baked potatoes in, in stock, which is nice. Um, they go through the carrots very quickly. So, what next? Well, that's a good question. What next indeed? Um, we nearly have enough to unlock, um... 
the the platform and the stairs. So I'll start with the stairs. Yes, thank you. Um, and we'll pop a set of stairs in there. Um, that's going to take a while because that takes um, planks and logs. Oh no, we should be alright actually. We do have a log in store. And we certainly have the planks in store, so that should be fine. Um, come on, we need two more, one more science point. And we can unlock the platform, and then we can put in another um, storage warehouse up here. Come on. Come on. One more. That's all we need. One more. Come on. There we go. Thank you very much. Okay, and we'll pop that in there, and we'll pop up path on top and a path there right and then storage and you can store hmm, grilled potatoes I think that's probably best for the moment okay now moving forward there's all of this space here would be great but I would need to come down and I would need to build another dam. Uh, ideally, this side of this. So, yeah, here, basically. Along there, uh, I'd want levees first. A line of levees and then a line of dams on top. To keep all of this hydrated as well. That would flood there. Or would it? No, it wouldn't. That would be the right height. Oh, that'd be perfect. Okay, so that's going to be the plan. We're going to come across this way. We're going to need to build up our supply of pretty much everything first. Um, let's have a look. Right. 58% is the fastest grown. So that's going to be about five more days till they um, start coming in. These are going to be way off. Yeah. So that's probably another, what, 18 days, something like that. Right. All I can do then is spin on. Uh, oh, we have some people. So mm, where am I going to put them? I'll put them in the district centre for the moment. Yeah, because we don't want to use all of these logs coming in for planks. Yeah, that, that's right. Okay, good. I will spin on one more time then. Um, probably a couple of days, see where we can get to. Um, I want to build up a stock of planks. I, I really need these trees to, to come in. That would be the, the ideal. Yeah. I might spread a path down here and get a lumberjack to, to clear out those. That'll give us a big chunk of wood. That'd be good. Hmm. Oh, that is one of the changes they've made, by the way. Um, the district centre now has a much improved range. Uh, so much so that you can actually just have one district centre. You don't need to split it down into separate districts. It makes it more efficient, because the uh, distance line here you can see from the district centre, that's still, if, you, if, you're plant, if you're building outside of that range, then the building's going to be much less efficient, but you can do it. So, yeah, so things like sending out a, a lumberjack to just clear this area, that's fine. It'll take a little bit longer than it would if we, if we were closer, but it will be fine. Okay. Yes, I will spin on a couple of days then um, and see where we can get to. Well then, I've spun on for a few days, as you can see. Uh, our food situation seems to have remedied itself for the moment. Uh, I do want to put in another um, uh, storage warehouse here. Um, and we will just bring that across like that. There we go. Um, haven't really done anything, waiting for everything to, uh, to continue to grow. Uh, I did take out this second lumberjack here, uh, and replace it with carrots. Uh, over here I'm putting in a, a campfire. 
and over here I did put in uh, a lumberjack to get rid of these oak trees and that's doing wonders for our wood storage at the moment. Yeah, that's where we are. Um, yeah. Very much full of food. So that's good. Um, I think... I mean, we are kind of spreading this way. So I do think that what we should probably do is demolish at least one of these and replace it with a dam. Because then any additional water will be able to flow down this way. I don't know if any will... It should do, because it does back up here. So we should be able to get at least a trickle down there, enough to get some um, hydration in here. Uh, but obviously I want to wait until we've actually got the logs in storage that aren't, uh, and they aren't in danger of just being used elsewhere. Uh, so for a dam, I think we need like 20... Uh, 20 logs, yeah. Um, that'll be the plan for, for next episode anyway. Uh, we also want to come over this way and put in a dam across here um, to create a little pool of deeper water in this area. Um, we can stick a couple of water pumps on there and that will help us. Oh, that's been built already. You can store raw potatoes, please. Okay. But I think we'll leave it there for this first episode. Oh, we've got a tree down there that can be cut and I bet you can't reach it, can you? Yes, you can. Ah, that'll be why. There you go. Come and get it, please. There you go. Thank you very much. Right. Yes, we will leave it there for this episode. I'm I'm quite excited to be back in Timberborn. I've, I've, I've missed it. I didn't realise how much until I started playing it again. It's really a good game. I uh, hope you're enjoying it as well. Uh, please do give uh, any comments down below. Uh, let us know what you think. If you've played this map, what do you think a good uh, strategy would be? Uh, I haven't even talked about coming up here and damming. Uh, it would be an idea because, as I said, we can then divert water down through here. Um, which would spread hydration a little bit. But, yeah, it's a, it's a complicated map. There's a lot of uh, a lot of exit points for the water and a lot of sort of crossing channels. Yeah. So if we were to come over here, we would only be able to fill it up to here anyway. Because this is our source point. And it can't fill up above that point. It will just flow back out. So we won't be able to turn this into a huge reservoir. Um, over here we have an exit. So we could certainly flood that. Ooh, yeah, okay. Mmm. Oh, that's got to be part of the plan, hasn't it? Got to be. Is that a... That looks like a mine right at the bottom there. It is. Interesting. Um, Where else do we have mines? There's one there. Oh, is that it? Two two mines on the map. Looks like it. Okay. But there's one we can access there, so that's all right. What? Why are you hungry? We have lots and lots of food. Go eat something. Stupid beavers. Right, but yes, we'll leave it there. Um, let me know what you think. Please give us a like and a subscribe if you've enjoyed it, and please check out the other uh, videos on my channel. As I say, comments down below, and please join us next time. Until then, I've been John, this has been Timberborn, please do take care of yourselves, stay safe, and bye-bye.